imagine we talk about 2020 so much that now people talk about 2077 as if it is right now 2077 uh, depends lah uh, probably if 2021 isn't getting delayed mm. we'll see 2020 oh. at the end lah Hopefully it's not 2020 season 2. Oh, <laughs> But beta patch 2020 1.5. The New Year's edition. We fixed the bugs <laughs> from earlier this year, this month, early this year. Now less people die. Oh boy. That's a depressing stuff. <laughs> Be like that. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Day dot log, game me to podcast. Welcome, welcome. Uh, episode seventy two. Ah, lah. We should have deleted it for another seven episodes so that we can get seventy seven. Oh, no. <laughs> I get it, but no, because we technically too late. This. Then. Technically, this is delayed by a week. From our last episode, oh. which was a special. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. For reasons a we, very convincing, for reasons <laughs> very <we> specific. <laughs> yeah. Uh, introducing the panel, uh, we have Daniel over there. Hello, guys. The other side there is Anan. What up? And I am Amir Romekronos Ashraf. And apologies in advance. Uh, I might be low energy for this episode. Uh, not feeling so well at the moment. Hopefully, it's just the rain season. Not and not more than that. Uh, well, at least hey, there's there's video games. Okay, I I take solace on that. There's video games. <laughs> take solace on games. Yeah, true. Video games. As a certain podcast, yeah. As a, as a certain podcast would say, it's since the beginning video games is a necessary. <laughs> oh, And wow. speaking of video games, yeah. Speaking of video games, uh, congrats to the I think two hundred, good three hundred people that gotten the PS Five on day one at the time of recording. In Malaysia. Congrats, guys and girls. Mm-hmm. Yep, in Malaysia. Congrats, and... guys and girls. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it launches too in the Philippines. Yeah, in Philippines as well. Mm. Congrats, my friends at Manila as well. Uh, yeah, for the lucky, Good. however hundred of you. Uh, moving mm-hmm. on. <laughs> yeah, moving on because we didn't get one. Uh, uh, um, that's the thing. It would. This would be have been the PS Five special, and it would be a good time to have a special, a next gen special. But hey ho, not everyone gets a PS Five, and the people we know di- didn't uh, get <laughs> didn't get PS Five until until we discovered that today they are getting a PS Five. So it's okay. Ooh. We have we have another thing to talk about. <laughs> So this is your regular dialogue log. PS5 next gen special delayed to 2021. Yeah, delayed to next year at least because we are going next week. We're going to record our game of the year. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. I see. Uh, Tapi let's so then, Mac. How about kita check up pasal our one of our contender of game of the year? Oh boy. Because unlike unlike Jeff Keighley's game awards. We don't have a structure, <laughs> a format, or anything that that needs the cooperation for your help. Yeah, we we adjust the cut cut off line just for this game. Then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? The future is now. The dark future is now. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Twenty is out. Twenty seven is out now. It has arrived. <laughs> Finally, Ooh. no more delays. No, yeah, no more delays. No more, uh, yellow text or black uh text. No more. 
it is in our hands and in our consoles. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> unless the thing we saw is just like a a very evocative brain dance, uh, I think Cyberpunk is out now, for you. <laughs> so guys, uh, uh, I think this is the first I guess that every one of us actually bought bought the game, <laughs> bought a game, and we're gonna talk about it on the podcast. Ooh. Yeah, and it all even, three, and even extended to one apparently. <laughs> of all yeah, people. our shadow realm friend of, of across the border, literal border because I I am stuck in the <laughs> stuck in the red zone of uh Slango. Oh, before we start, guys, that's actually quite ironic. Yeah? the first part of the game is we have to go inside before the lockdown. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> so rich. What a time, but, David. Reference, yeah. Well, <laughs> and, uh... so uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, Anan, you play on PC, right? Yes, with a controller. Uh, Mind you. Yeah, I I played on PC as well, and also on a controller because the mouse and keyboard control sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My God, they, de- shit. they designed this for <laughs> totally for consoles. I'll get back to that later. Uh, Daniel, where do you play it on? On um, my very new Xbox Series S. Ah. So, so SSD SSD loading, baby. Fast travel, that us. <laughs> Legit, that fa- the fast travel doesn't even feel like a second of just done. Oh, so if you load in your your current, oh, you don't even have to like boot up the game. You can have Q resume. Yeah, Q resume. Wow. Uh, I was just oh nice. Say, I was going to say that every time you boot it up, you have to listen to that one bit of uh, I think a talk show. They keep on playing talking. Uh, yes. Curry, curry, curry. Oh, yes. Oh uh... The 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 wheel. Oh yeah, the wheel thing. Eh? Uh-huh. That's beautiful. Each and no. Kujira. Ah, Kujira. Yes. Godzilla, Kujira. <laughs> I, I was about to say Kaiju. I used the reference. <laughs> okay, so My... thoughts? How are uh, you finding it so far? Okay, okay uh, my honest thought. This thing should be delayed for another year. <laughs> <laughs> That's my honest thought. Bring mm. out the yellow. Bring out the big yellow. guns! Bring out the yellow background, okay. yellow uh, text again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Get me wrong. I love this game. Okay, okay. That's the short, short version. I love it. But this, this thing still need a lot of polish. Like one year, at least. Yeah. Also, some of the like line decisions are like questionable, at least. Boy. Mm. Okay, so let's peel it off one by one. First, the technical issues. Let's go down for on that route first. Technical. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Now, where do we begin? Driving, we begin? driving physics. Driving physics. <laughs> driving physics. It's a shit. <laughs> yeah. It's a crap. It's... I know. As... Mm. Yeah. It took because we like... all three. <laughs> It took me all like... three love cars so kita tahu that if a driving visit is bad it's bad so yeah sambung <laughs> yeah it took me 10 minutes to learn how to break your V's car properly because it is it breaks so it needs a lot of the breaking point is very early it's not yeah. GTA 5 kind of physics where you can just like you know the weird thing about GTA 5 physics is that it's not realistic, but it's fun and also works for what the game is supposed to be. Yeah. If you want to do pull off tight G- corners or, oops, I missed the intersection. Let me back up. <laughs> GTA 5 knows what it needs to do. And it does it well. Cyberpunk on the other yeah. hand. Hope you're not doing uh, a chasing mission. <laughs> you you either like uh you either break early or use a button to handbrake handbrake turn, <laughs> which is why tactic for driving right now. Yeah. Also, reversing is 
to look as fuck, especially on motorcycles. Like when you stop oh, and you want yeah. to reverse, I'm like, you're not changing gears, V. What the hell? Like if I could like uh, summarize, can let's do this in a tube this time. Atas kali is GT5. Um, in the middle would be you know Saints Row and Watch Dogs, and then we will, below will be Arma 3, and then after that is Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, and, there's another one below. Watch Dogs, first one. First Watch Dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Worse uh, than the Cyberpunk. first Watch Dogs. Yeah, the worst Watch Dogs tu tak boleh lawan lah. That's crap. <laughs> I think like, I feel like it's even worse before apa, Reflection had to come in. Tak silap, so that... <laughs> so Reflection didn't have a lot of time to fix up the, the driving mechanics. So, yeah, that's... So, they are in the same part as Cyberpunk uh, driving physics. Hmm. Uh, next, I guess, is the glitches or any bugs that you guys have encountered. Yeah, I mean, there's some Which bugs. One? Not, not nothing <laughs> game breaking. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, that's like, funny. That it's too many. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you want? Like, um, I think like at one of the points of the side quest, and like we get to see our characters. My one part, of my character was fully nude, tapi all the armor ada ada lagi. <laughs> so like, okay, okay, game. She's a nude <laughs> now, okay. Yeah, it's kind of those like small legals that it's not game breaking, but I totally bet immersion breaking. Uh, yeah, it's immersion breaking, and I totally bet that uh, to fix those small problems might take. Another delay, so they ju- they mark it as known bug and ship it. <laughs> yeah, it's those kind of bugs. It's kind uh, of as the, long as it's uh, non game breaking, just ship it. Uh, I mean, uh. the the kind of bugs that you go haha, look at that. Sometimes I haven't seen worse. The 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 like Watch Dogs Legions kind of safe corruption uh. stuff. That's that that's bad. I don't see that in Cyberpunk just yet. Mm. Uh, for a game that's supposed to be a first-person immersion, the they they made it in the first person by design, so that you yes. are immersed in the world, right? These kind of bugs kinda like uh pulls you out, and to the point that you cannot de- sometimes you cannot like discern whether this is a bug as in by design as in oh this is the glitch in the system it's okay it's in universe or it's actually a real bug it's in the real bug my favorite I have my yeah, favorite yeah. bug so far okay uh, if you go to uh, the the industrial complex center no industrial I mean the corpo corporate corpo center there's a uh-huh. fast travel point there nearby there's a Uh, fly over uh, to Petrochem building. Yeah, under there, there's a pillar uh, beside the road whereby all of the uh, all of the AI cars just went through the pillar. Oh! So, like, oh holy shit. They, they literally, okay, go straight and then they went right to the pillar and they go through. <laughs> and, well, speaking of that, there's a lot of those kinds of, oh, we just uh, characters just like go through obstacles like i park yeah. the car here and then one guy has to like like a uh, there's a predetermined animation so he has to walk through the car because that's because they don't want to mess around with it mm-hmm. it's it's stupid but i get it why they decided not to fix all of the small small legals and bugs it's 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 a never-ending process if you keep on going. It's yeah. gonna be another long yeah. delay. Yeah, it, it's not crashing by any means. So at least on PC. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, too. So that's I mean, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. On Xbox as well. So it's not crashing at all. It's so not crashing. Like... It's fine. It'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Like, like, can we talk? Mm. Second like box. Can we talk about the PlayStation version? And mm. why is it 150 gigs? <laughs> oh, I I think I know why. Because if if they stick, uh, okay, the install size for, for PC and stuff is 70 gigs, something like 70, 80 gigs. Yeah, Xbox and so, PC are 70 gigs, dude. 
Yeah. So that's me. Uh, that one is for uh, even Xbox One, is it? The uh, series, yeah, Xbox. Basically, the Xbox One version, lah. Uh, yeah, that's Xbox. Okay. So, like, my theory is that uh, if they start with the old install version, uh, it will take some processing power to decompress all the assets because this this kind of world. If you optimize compression style, you need to decompress, so it probably take like extra processing power, and it's already shit. Mm. Uh, with even with the big uh loading, big install size, so they have to like uh offload all the compression and then just give a bigger install size instead of uh, optimizing with the compression. Uh, I get That's it. my take, lah. I guess. Uh, this should be similar to what Titanfall is doing on PC. The original Titanfall mm. is just released, right? Yes. Uh, to make the audio, the, uh, the audio compression. They they don't uh, they didn't compress the audio so that PC PC low spec can play the game. As a result, mm. it's, oh. got, it's I think like thirty gigs larger or something like that. It's that you sacrifice space for computational power. Mm. Uh, that's the kind of trade-off that I'm seeing for PS4 at least. Mm. The Call of Duty in style, uh, like mm. they load it immediately. That's why those things like are uh, two hundred gigs, so that you can load games and matches faster. I feel like it's only for the PlayStation version. Yeah, the rest is okay. Like the Xbox, I uh, because I've seen like the Xbox One new gameplay, and it's not that bad. I mean, twenty hmm. FPS. Twenty FPS still something is still not a bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they are like seven years old hardware at this point. <laughs> oh. Imagine getting a mid-range PC from 2013 and try to play Cyberpunk. Like people complain about the console, but I'm like, eh, hey, you try doing your own PC, you won't get the same result. Even worse. Man. Okay, so that out of the way. Uh, so everyone knows, or uh, uh, should know already that this game isn't the big Polish AAA title. It still has that Eurojank on it, I guess. Yes, the yes, Eurojank. Eurojank. Uh, you got re- This is a high, uh, heavily marketed Eurojank game. So <laughs> you have to you it- set that mindset at the front, so you have less expectations. <laughs> Like you thought you're buying a triple A game, nah, you're buying you very professional Eurojank, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is double A for professional, but plus yes. double A plus, double A plus, double A plus. But the lot there is some IGCS you punya read apa uh, great rating of double A plus. Yeah, that's that's super, that's more like battery size by the <laughs> The battery size. I mean, to be fair, they punch you above their weight if you compare to Ubisoft, but that's another thing. Yes. <laughs> oh. Ubisoft uh, is already machine-like your own design. Yeah, it's already a factory at this point. <laughs> the triple A factory. Hmm. Oh, how about we talk about the game itself? Uh, the game. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the game. Do you mean story or gameplay? Uh, let's start with get yeah gameplay lah. Uh, why do you guys start with your V? What What's mm. your origin story? Oh, I choose yeah. Corpo. <laughs> you Corpo scum. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, I already had the decision like months ago. But like, oh, I'm going to play Corpo first. <laughs> yeah, you did say. Even, uh, with, with, my, like, with my Shadowrun games, I usually choose like my first playthrough will be like Corpo Academy. Shadowrunner mm. something X type. So yeah. <laughs> Mac, like are my you first always be Corpo. Yeah. Mac, Sorry? Are you, the, Mac, are you our oh. middle then? <laughs> I'm afraid I didn't pick straight kid. <laughs> uh, I, I'm also Corpo as well. I think I've also mentioned this on record beforehand. The down with flames. Uh, the life path is... I mean... It's not Dragon Age Origins kind of, uh, kind of elaborate, but it's not Mass Effect kind of just flavor text. So it's yeah. a bit in between lah. Mm. Like you have a scene, oh, you feel, uh, you get the feel of the corpo life, and then something bad happened in just one scene, 
and then time skip boom you start off with as a mercenary okay that all the same um, that works i guess hmm. i mean uh like life path also like, uh influence your dialogue options too but the dialogue options yes. I, i don't know whether it affects that much but like very i don't know i haven't played we have all of us haven't played through the end so we don't know yet <laughs> what kind of uh, permutations that happen with different life paths at the very least i can guess that uh it's more for flavor lah in role playing mm. like because we pick corpo and then we can be an asshole <laughs> uh i'm not saying asshole i'm saying more like a robot cool robot Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As in, like, kind of flat. Uh, yo, do your work. Are you talking <laughs> to me like that? What? Why are you doing more than what you should? <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. or you talk with another corpo or a suit, and it's just like you think I don't know what you're playing for. You do nothing. I know better about what you are actually currently undergoing. You talk too much. I know more. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. the corpo tune. Yeah, yeah. So like the nomad pun pun like the dialogue choice is macam bit naive ah. Like even the character show cakap, V, you're you're a nomad, so you're a bit naive to the corporate life. But like, <laughs> I was like, okay, that's actually good. Good will the thing. So, so I guess there is some like good text they don't letak dalam fire the, the specifics. So. Like macam my character kan very. Even though we just sh- this mercenary tried to kill me, he I I will uh, I will ask him, you okay, man? <laughs> What happened? We just killed each other just few minutes ago. Okay, that's 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 very different. Yeah, that, that's like just that's I like that type of uh, writing, uh, basically because you on the right side the corporal has some cold calculated like literally, you step on me, I'll kill you. Well, no man. Like that's my example. Like this assassin might kill you in the future, but nah. How about we share a few tequila first? <laughs> uh, It is family. I, the dialogue, I guess, is also affected by how you spec your stats. What do you guys pick for stats? What builds are you running your V's? <laughs> I'm going for intelligence technical, basically net runner lah. <laughs> Mine is a bit weird. Like at start, I was thought like I'm on nomad, yang panen net running. Tapi kan, like as I level up, I think I'm now level nine. My stand is now for build for like athletic, so body, and now I can like because there are some like juggernauts, those big guys with big guns, and I can just one hit them now. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey so brain. Uncom- yeah. <laughs> One shot. Those those corpo Santa, they're up in your big guys. My come, I'll just do the the most biggest punch you ever felt. And that doesn't count as a kill as well because they don't not count you. Ah. So it's so, so like there was I think early on in the game there is this um that mission that you have to pacify people. Like seventeen, uh, like seventy something lah. And since I can just one punch them, easy. <laughs> nice. I build. I I I put a very unoptimized build. I I decided not to put on reflexes body. I guess just one point. One point from the minimum. I specialize in technical ability and cool. Cool. cool it's interesting because it's it's a it's a the the two perks inside cool is kind of uh is used for two different kinds of gameplay one it makes you a brick a tank you can have like passive like you you have like uh something kind of like borderlands where you have like stacks that you can you can trigger oh yeah 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 which is kind of weird but okay So basically, you can absorb damage lah under cool. The other is stealth. But as a personality, 
where do the dialogues for cool is kind of like when things are kind of heating up or either two people are uh, like bantering you just be the intermediary guy you see like very cool like like this one this one person is just like ah why are you asking this so much question relax i just want to do this and then we move on that's it oh okay oh yeah that, that's yeah, cool. i like i that is cool uh. that is the what? the blade runner style like no i don't want to shoot you today <laughs> uh, the, the the i wouldn't say the passive man but he keep but uh, the cool is for cool under pressure I think that's what it means. Not cool, stylish, cool, but cool under pressure. The if you get in trouble with the police, you can just talk your way out, like guns. Like I didn't do it. He was a he was evil or something. <laughs> How do you guys find the combat? Because I spec very badly. I I feel like it's kind of bullet spongy, but that's on my end. I feel like. How about you guys? Uh, mm. You mentioned about one shotting, then. <laughs> Uh, but... Yeah, like, uh. that is my melee lah, but one short thing because I have taken uh, this approach of one shotting people from my very many Fallout 4 player playthrough because um, uh, have you heard of this guy number the speaking break from YouTube? Oh yeah, yes. uh, the, the guy is yeah, perfect. With no force yeah, the balance, it. perfectly uh, balanced balance. game. No like, like, yeah, like he, yeah. I actually, the, he actually did a live stream on how to make it uh, perfectly balanced, aka the combat. So like, I followed a bit, tapi tak lah sampai <laughs> to his extreme to the point the game breaking, breaking lah. But combat for me, the it's just two buttons. It's just two buttons, R T or R two. Mm-hmm. and dodge which is circle or b so it's right quite simple the pre value effect the gunplay is also i feel like macam fallout 4 tapi lagi macam like at a sway more sway it's as, it's as if um i think macam like they taken the fallout 4 new style of shooting and then take the uh, the new vegas punya sway if that makes sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, early, uh, make, making accurate shots are kind of hard at uh, early on. So I hope it gets improved as you grow better. When you get the laser weapons, yeah. <laughs> it does. Uh, by or, 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 or you got the smart out. weapons. Yeah, the smart weapons, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, but uh, the the gameplay is okay. For, for me, it's okay. Fine. Because <laughs> I'm using controller, I don't care anyway. <laughs> yeah, same, the same. Like ah, uh, the what's it called? It? The aim assist to help me. Yeah. Oh, I guess we have to go for that. Uh, I. Here's the thing about Cyberpunk's UI. It's designed for uh, for controllers first rather than keyboard and mouse, which I don't mind. Yeah. But the problem is the way the cursor is. You know, uh, for controllers, you know the square thing. The it, it uses the destiny. Destiny cursor, basically, right? The destiny cursor. Mm-hmm. The problem is yeah. the cursor is square and very big, and it's hard to aim with a mouse. <laughs> That's one, and the other is that it keeps on snapping. To uh, to uh, what you say? To a UI element. Let's say I click on this button, and I expected the mouse to not move, but then oop, it snap to the right a bit or to the left mm, a bit, yeah. which is kind of annoying. I am basically fighting the UI. <laughs> uh, are, are you really <laughs> UI is also a boss <laughs> in this game. If they have, they need to rework. If they want to borrow Destiny's playbook. Look at Destiny on PC. The cursor behaves like a mouse. Nothing else. It works. You don't have to snap snap. The, that's terrible, man. Can I say like, the punya, what's it called? Speaking of UI, and I think 
the other thing that I really don't like is um the journal. Oh yeah. Where you have to oh, speak yeah, the journal. God damn it, that is a mess. He did. <laughs> you would assume you would assume that the the tabs you can like quick change using the bumpers would have all the tabs in the uh in the in the menu, right? No. Yeah. It doesn't. Is it a bit like the Witcher? And... The one? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is sure. basically. Like, I think yeah, the it best is like theory. a bit like Witcher. Yeah. The best theory I forgot. I haven't played in a while. Because I find also, the uh, Witcher is also kind of a bit clunky on that aspect as well. Yeah. Also, uh, one of my like biggest gripe is the short menu. So that's a yeah, oh. so short that you that you want to decrypt, right? You fail, and then it goes out to to the out, out of the menu. I'm like, I need to navigate. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the shark. The, the shit. <laughs> the cold push shark is here. Uh, I hate. At least the mini game for that yeah, is yeah. actually kind of interesting, rather than you know like a yeah. Sudoku puzzle or something. That there's some thought put into it. I appreciate that. Uh, what else? I I feel uh like... economy is crap. Game economy crap. What well, you got too much money? No. Too much money? I got I... Too, too little money. Yeah, I have too okay. little money. This is like okay, this, okay. This, like... this basically you wake up, welcome to the future where you got shit pay and everything expensive. <laughs> uh, they got the right. Yeah, the bleak. Like, we want to buy car and like. You also like get these text messages in the game like, oh, uh, hi V, I want to buy, you want to buy my car? It's a shitty beer, shit box that only has wheels and smells weird. Okay, cool. How much? 20,000 credits. Like, fuck. <laughs> and selling Why? is not enough. Yeah, yeah it's selling is not enough. <laughs> selling junk the is big... not worth it. My yeah. recommendation Selling is... weapon is like... Like a hundred credits, a uh, hundred eddies, twenty eddies. Hmm. Uh, better to put in the te- uh, the perk for Get- auto crafting in the crafting perk. Hmm. There's if you pick up junk, it automatically scraps it. So that's a better investment. Plus, you can do crafting with it. And the crafting kind of meh. Yeah, 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 because the the item pickups are like okay, you got you got better gear, better gear. Yeah, maybe the you craft ammo. The yeah, borderlands, like for, yeah, the borderlands problem. The borderlands problem, I like to call that. Like, goddamn, yes, I got this very special uh rifle. And then <laughs> next block, oh shit, I found a better rifle. <laughs> and, uh... Oh my god, this game. So far, has it lived up to your expectations? I I don't expect too much. So I'm I'm fine with it. I love it. So is there a high expectation and fall flat? I'm like, okay, I expect this much. Okay, it delivers hey. somehow. There's some technicality, so it can be fixed. All, all of the things that, that we that we grab about is sort of fixable. Okay. Yeah. That should be fine. Yeah. Also moddable. Fixable yeah, or moddable. So we just wait. And we oh yeah. are speaker of mods. They've already done the mods for themselves, right? They don't need the mod. <laughs> They've already or, done the Oh mod. yeah. Yeah, I mean I mean speaking a bit, uh digress about nudity 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 bit the the penis size doesn't matter. That doesn't I feel that at this end, eh, nothing, it's nothing. It's just I not like. <laughs> I you can know. even make it like magnum size. Then they have predetermined size. I'm like, eh, this much. I want a magnum, bro. What? Sudo cyberpunk flavor. Our the. <laughs> the sky you put your many 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 love uh, lovers mod <laughs> take your inspiration from that <laughs> yeah and, uh, and I mean like 
dia orang punya like you know the the concrete you know sexual scenes yang dia orang kata eh his team his GTA 5 team and how many sleepless Sing. nights that some some artists have to commit to design those <laughs> to dogs commit to design do- for <laughs> absolutely no good reason <laughs> other than haha you can customize your dongs man <laughs> i pity those guys to that polish developer i'm sorry <laughs> but, uh... Or maybe they outsource it. But also, sorry to those guys as well. Uh, apologies to the Philippine guys. <laughs> oh wow, we can work on Cyberpunk. What are we working on? Dongs. Dongs. <laughs> Dong, dongs never die. Hey, uh, just on mail, right? No, we have to do for the girls as well. Oh yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have to make sure it fits with the the feminine body type as well. Okay. <laughs> got to be, got to be make it right. Got to be oh well. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's just for funsies rather than oh, we do it something meaningful to it or something like that. Nah, nah. We, we pre-modded things. Okay. So the models, uh-huh. so the models <laughs> can just look at it and okay, okay, they've done it. Now what? Oh yeah, they can do something. I mean, like, they can put sliders in. Sliders. Like they can put yeah. color. They can put shape pattern. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's still room. It's more like you can see. There's still room. Like, like you Tattoo. need. <laughs> yeah, like say so yeah, cyberpunk uh, models. Uh, I have a request for my friend. Third person view. <laughs> good luck. Uh, right. Good luck. <laughs> I think that's one of the like the first part they think I, I think they'll do like that person <laughs> one of the most awaited mm-hmm. yeah for like, I wish they yeah. yeah like one thing like I wish they like if they have another update that like, I wish for another Q, QOL update again FOV slider for the console version because god damn it's like two years Wait, hey, korang tak ada FOV slider? Konsol mana ada FOV sliders? Oh, we yeah. Are restricted yeah, via, yeah. We, are, we are restricted by the technology that we have. <laughs> Destiny 2 baru gotten a, a, a slider, FOV slider. And they oh, marketed oh, that. <laughs> For the first TV time. TV will be sad. Yeah lah. Uh, like literally, I think the marketing for uh, Destiny 2, the next gen version is FOV slider. Like, yeah, god damn, that's one of the features. Cons for Cyberpunk 2077, not enough sliders. Mm. And, <laughs> slider. and no, not burgers. Not enough sliders. Yeah. Not enough. Even on PC, the the maximum 100 degree FOV is not enough. 100, yeah, not enough. Like, yeah, I think we're probably 100 Like CS go, my brother plays hundred ten. <laughs> so like another ten, ten, ten percent, please. Hello. So early verdicts for Cyberpunk. I think for me, uh, I was disappointed with the the Outer Worlds. They, even though I say it quite early, oh, this is the next, the new Vegas. Can I say that this is the not New Vegas? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, it is, can. yeah. But like, it is what I envision it to be the RPG, ah, uh, the first person RPG now. So it's down there, Bawa New Vegas. So back, what about your verdict of uh, CD Project Red? I hope for Deus Ex to resurrect itself from Cyberpunk, or at least, nah. <laughs> <laughs> or at, uh, because of how how good Cyberpunk is. Now I question that I don't know if Square Enix wants to throw that much money to make their own Cyberpunk oh. game. That is a new Deus Ex, because this one is just okay, good, but mm-hmm. not like. 
oh this is the best game of 2020 maybe not so i'm not so no sure not really yet. it is not no, it is no. not the best game like it is one of the few no it's it's the an best. okay game right now for me overall uh because yeah outside of the i don't know may, maybe the over marketed parts of the the whole shebang actually ruin me because when i see <laughs> when when i get shoved into my face every day about hey look at this cyberpunk hey look at this cyberpunk shoe look at this cyberpunk car look at this uh Porsche in cyberpunk look at this phone that is made for china only cyberpunk <laughs> Every day, you know, the the launch day, like I have like ten emails saying, "Hey, you know what? Cyberpunk is out now. Cyberpunk is out now. Come pre-order here, buy it here, get this one." <laughs> I don't know where this game is over marketed, but what has shape is actually good, but never it it could never live up to the over market. Mm, or oh, it what it what it got oversell. So people, so like it, was sold, <laughs> it was sold, yeah. It, it was sold plen- a lot of dreams, but actually it's not, it didn't reach there. Like, you have character customization, but it's not a complete character customization that you expect. You have cars, but there's no car customization. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, th- there's a lot of those things like, they promise this kind of bullet list, bullet points. And they kind of got there, but not quite enough. To the point that what I feel about Cyberpunk right now is that they did a lot of things, but I don't feel like one thing stands out. Like, you know how, okay, uh, what to compare? Okay, let's say Yakuza, right? Yakuza like a dragon. Yeah, Yakuza. I think I've published my review about it. The new JRPG system has a lot of like... Things that you can pick on, like oh, the, here it could be better. Maybe they should improve on that. Okay, sure, it has faults, but what they nail the over the top story and the stupid comedic uh, stuff on the side, uh, it's still like, uh, it still lingers with me until today. It 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 impacts me emotionally as much. So far, several points just, oh, I get what they're doing there. Okay, uh, so what? I've seen this before. <laughs> I feel the problem is that it is cyberpunk. So many things have been cyberpunk before. <laughs> like this is like uh, yeah, like in the five in the past year, like past decade, I think yeah. We got Shadowrun, we got apa lagi cyberpunk? Um, Deus, Deus X, Deus X, yeah, two yeah. Deus X. In the span of the ever uh, the time that uh, Cyberpunk tried to go come out, so the shadow, yeah, <laughs> XCOM, mm, yeah, you can see that's Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, the new one is very Cyberpunk actually. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's more that I don't know. I I I need to see more about the punk side of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven because you know the it's not just like oh heavy scenes and brooding mean uh brooding music. It's there, it's there, but there's also like a subplot about rebellion, about uh, what you say about uh a rocker boy, and wants to burn the city or something like that. That may be interesting, but we shall see. So far, I'm not like super convinced yet, but it's not like a terrible game by any means. Ah, uh, if you buy it and if you enjoy it. You will, I guess, you will get those kinds of enjoyments, lah. But it didn't hit a lot of the marks I expected, even with the bar setting setting a bit low. Again, I don't think Square Enix will rush around to spend like I guess ten more million dollars or something like that to make another Cyberpunk rival. After they lost like twenty millions plus. <laughs> gee, <laughs> gee. How many millions that they made that game instead of Deus Ex? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> But hey, if if you are on the fence, take a look at some of the videos. Take a look of what other people see. I think st- it's still worth a look. I mean, uh, like at least one million people are playing it. 
Yeah. Get the light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think like for the closer and um, for those of you who are in the fence for Cyberpunk, I'll see. Wait, we wait until like the first few patches come in. Because like this is very, it is still very rough. And even though I love this game, you got like it is very rough. Giller, like this is the the new Vegas when you <laughs> what's yeah. spinning head bugs. Especially on console. If you want to play on console, console, just hold off. PC may be okay. Yeah, like I have basically the the fourth powerful next gen console right now. And (laughs) 30 frames, yes. But goddamn, definite text. There is a lot of text you drop in. Yeah. I play on on PC (laughs) medium setting. Still beautiful. Still good. Uh, I, I can even get like 70 frames. But I Ooh. adjust some settings. 70 plus. Uh, on but that, even with them, okay. On that note, uh, if you have an RTX 2060 card, uh, don't bother with RT medium. Go high. Go high. Yeah. No, it's not worth the ray trace. The, part, the shiny puddles is not worth it. You better go with high. Go high or go to or turn it off. <laughs> uh, and the LSS is still I'm not so with the LSS. It says it keeps on getting uh it helps with the frame rate. But from what I gather is that it it comes off a lot more pixely than I wanted. Oof. It looks like even rougher. Just for like four or five frames per second extra. Mm, no thank you lah. Arigano, thanks. Uh, <laughs> you you better skip to the 30 series if you are replacing that bad. The 20 series is basically dead now. Yeah, like, do not believe NVIDIA in your life. <laughs> Even though they also email us every time, like, oh, yes, ray tracing. Nah, nah. I think for ray tracing, this is the sixth game that you can benchmark. Uh, besides Control, Battlefield 5. Minecraft, Minecraft of all things. Um, what for again? I cannot imagine Minecraft becoming an RTX benchmark. Huh? <laughs> Watch Dogs Legion. Holy shit! Watch Dogs Legion. That's small. Yeah. They have few. Call of Duty. Oh no, no. Not Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Ah, yeah, the new Call of Duty. Uh, the new Call of Duty. Uh, Metro. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Metro. Yeah. Yeah, Metro. Metro. Like, so like there's the big name so that's six only that's all like six games so nah yeah I've tried, rtx <laughs> i tried uh. two of those games i don't feel rtx uh with the rtx 2060 is worth it no no don't it's not it i i i uh, my gamble didn't pay off <laughs> remember <laughs> earlier this year this laptop is cyberpunk ready <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, no, it ain't. Uh, nah. Uh, but basically, no. all laptops at that time was not ready for Cyberpunk with ray tracing, so I I have no other choice. <laughs> uh, man, if we, it was the September build, which is the master to like only Xbox One and PS4, yes, it will be Cyberpunk ready. <laughs> if you don't count in the the, what? the next gen factor. Mm-hmm. It's okay. On high, it's, it looks still fantastic. And I guess that's mm-hmm. Cyberpunk until Game of the Year comes in and we talk more about it. Hopefully, uh, at least one of us finish it. Oh, I'm gonna finish it. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I almost... <laughs> I'm also gonna finish it. Uh, I'm already ahead of you guys. Of all and the story, hmm. yeah. Of all people, I'm the least <laughs> excited about cyberpunk. After all, I my, I might even be less excited than Wom. I don't know. <laughs> I still play it. It's <laughs> okay. It's okay. But I'm not like. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I think Yakuza spoiled me too much, man. That yeah. was a ninety hour journey, and that was <laughs> fun. <laughs> So you got something back, good. Yeah, and then going to Cyberpunk is just like, it feels a bit bland. Because again, it's it's kind of flat all over the place. It doesn't have that high. 
of one thing that stands out. But hey, it is still enjoyable in some ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, you just had an omakase sushi and then next day you pick up a uh, grocery store sushi. I'm like, eh, <laughs> the <laughs> hey, you're this is the salmon. The uh, five ringgit one like, ah, uh, okay lah. <laughs> nah, nah, uh, a bit extra, it's the limited time promotion. It's the one that you keep on seeing, uh, seeing or uh, popping up on the YouTube ads because it's very limited time, but it's still store bought <laughs> sushi. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the feeling. It's like ah, okay, mm. it's uh the ads may be a bit blemishing it too much, but uh, okay. Hey, <laughs> should we move on? Yeah, we yeah. should move on. So, what are we going to talk about since we already taken, oh wow, almost an hour? Talking about Zephyr, so let's kind of check out, so. We could have gone hmm. longer, but hey. <laughs> nah, we could have, I, we could have uh, argued more, like a certain game, that one game of the year, but I don't want to say its name because it doesn't deserve the recognition. Not in this Still mad. Not in this year. We support a samurai that was dishonored and then plot his revenge. Not not a certain game about revenge as well. Shitty revenge versus Shitty revenge. a good revenge. <laughs> a tasty revenge. Hey, you know yes. what, you know what's a good game that tells a story about empathy? Uh, mm, remember though. Uh, Yakuza like a dragon. Mm. I, I, I'm yes. Not, I'm not bullshitting. It's it it's a great take of a story. You know, you need to see different perspectives, right? To make sure oh he's not evil because he is pure evil. No, he has a reason. That's basically Yakuza like a dragon. Uh for the first sixty hours or or so. Mm. Inter- We we we'll have that talk later. We we'll have that talk later. I'm yeah, we have that talk this. later. So now what going to talk about? Daniel, do you want to talk about your new Xbox? <laughs> yeah, too. Boleh ka? Like, uh, okay, so a up bit... to the last episode. Yeah, I have been a uh, what what is the word in the in the business? Uh, reform. Yes, after our lengthy talk, very lengthy talk with uh, our friends. And I really glad that the week after we talked about Xbox again, there was a sale. I got an email said, "Oh, hi Daniel, we have one more stock for Xbox Series S. Would you like to buy it? And then we'll keep it in our store." Uh, well, judging by this topic we're talking about, yeah, I took that offer. The best part is, yeah, I think this one is quite ironic, lah. Because uh the place I went to, they only had a uh, PlayStation bag, so I had to put in my Xbox Series X into a PlayStation bag, and then when I walk out to uh to get to my dad's car, swore nothing up. What has this person bought in this game store? Why is it labeled PlayStation, and why does he have a very silly grin on his face? <laughs> Oh, I just bought the PS4. It's on sale right now. <laughs> oh man! This as uh, so I bought. So the version I bought, um, I bought it from this very interest interesting uh, fellow that starts with a G and ends with a H, but we cannot say that name due to copyright reason. <laughs> Uh, they co- they provided me with the UK version, which kalau if this were I don't know two gens before, it's a big no no because uh, but I think consoles do do they regulate voltage dulu? Because I've lost a Wii due to high voltage. Uh, I do believe the voltage <laughs> is a bit different. Different, yeah. nah, but nowadays it's just. It's almost sama, tak silap. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, if you have the adapter that can adapt different voltage, should be fine. Yeah, I have my 
ironically my tesco brand uh power socket has a regulator i don't know why tapi i guess tesco knows <laughs> so just pasang is it british sets so or pasang blah 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 next thing i know i've been click i have clocked in 100 hours in forza horizon 4 again how many 100 that's a lot <laughs> in forza Ever yeah like i played like so since i bought it i bought it let me check that was today's day at time recording right now is 11 december i've bought it um where did we record our x Money podcast is it the 20th of november something around there it's in oh, the yeah. end of november yeah i don't remember so that's so i think it's like 20. so every session i play is five hours so five in 20 25 30 35 yep every night we would jump at least <laughs> so yeah I have... uh you heard of genshi impact uh, addiction this is forums uh, addiction of all things to be addicted <laughs> I don't know, like, this, I've taken a uh, day off, like, uh, you know, uh, I think, like, a few days, like, last week, I have, this week, I haven't played a lot of Forza because I had to go do over family, family stuff, but, yeah, I think it's around 80 to 100. I'm not sure, because they don't put that killer time. Hmm. But, yeah, like, there is some issues with my console because there is, there is nothing there is nothing perfect like yeah, yeah like what you the you know, the storage is quite small mm -hmm. and and okay do you know the bundle circle <laughs> i found out that the bundle circle is not a speaker but it's actually the heat sink Oh, yeah. And oh. boy, when it get, yeah, when it get hot, oh, it really, it, it is hot. We just discovered it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, it's yeah, like not a on my it's a frying, uh, the, the frying a fry pan, the the place, the hot, yeah, the it's stove. those electric, yeah, the electric stove, like, can because I think for the for five hours or so, I suddenly touch, ooh, panas. <laughs> it's actually quite hot. <laughs> it's not that much. It's not like much of scaling hot. It's like much of. It is Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS on the original PS4 hot. Uh. <laughs> mm, so, was it so, screaming though? No, it's not. It was yeah. very quiet. Oh, impressive. So it's still quiet. Nah. But it's hot. At least it's dying yeah, so silently. The, yeah. Yeah, it's dying silently. It's like us. It, it's dying <laughs> silently. <laughs> oh man, that went dark. <laughs> <laughs> Considering what I'm currently on, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, don't, don't do anything. Okay, so. Don't worry. Uh, just get on. The controller, which Mac has talked about extensively in our last Xbox video, yeah? it's, yeah, it's quite nice to touch. It's, it has, you know, very nice feel to it. Uh... I've tried the PS5 in your controller, the dual sense. Yeah, I can feel the difference now. It's not as it's I don't know how to say that. Like, there's the feeling of the dual sense again. It cannot be put into words because it's something else. Oh, your punya, what number? Your punya triggers there. So the 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 triggers of the Xbox. It's okay. It's very nice. It is very responsive. If you play Call of Duty Warzone, yes, it's very responsive. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have like this nagging feeling which I like. It's in checker. This is the next gen controller. This is that it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's accurate. At least you have a functioning share button. Oh yeah, PC tak guna. Mm -mm. I think uh because oh the set do you know setup sekarang is just pakai the phone. 
like setting up, put in your Microsoft account, pakai phone, setting up Game Pass is also using the phone. It's as if the laptops doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Hmm. Tapi like I just link uh, I use the my laptop just not link on uh, my PayPal. Just wanna you know when you want to buy games, you still need you need a currency and PayPal works. Mm-hmm. And they don't have tax. Ooh. That thing was for the best one about the Xbox store. The one saving grace is they don't have the tax. They don't have the sales tax. So if it's five ninety nine ninety nine, it is five ninety nine ninety nine. Nice. Okay. Right. So the most important thing is the performance. I've tested. I think that like, I want to do a review. So probably coming out like after uh, our episode of Game of the Year. Um, the real performance. I've tried Xbox OG real gameplay. I've tried Xbox um 360, and well, Cyberpunk lah, of course. The 360 new games, sadly, and doesn't run uh per 60 frames. Not 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 a lot. Much of like the scenes real games three, four, and get two more than 60 frames. Mm-hmm. Tapi, tapi like the older games, the old G games like Black, it doesn't run 60 frames because there's a frame limit there. Um, disappointingly, both uh, just cause doesn't run 60 frames, which is sad. Man, I want it. The, there's Tula. plenty of reasons why just cause doesn't run that high. <laughs> I guess it's <laughs> not. Yeah, it's not about lack of horsepower. No, Man, the explosions. Explosions. Forza runs. Forza runs, sixty FPS. Um, uh, I want sixty hertz. But I, I have a one forty four when you. Well, the my lean living room has a one forty four hertz when your TV. Should try that. I haven't tried the one forty four hertz when your setting yet. But it can do. The little bots can do that, but like a very helicopter parent, I'm afraid to use that very nice setting. And you already know how cyber parents, it's okay, 30 frames, loads very fast, which is important. Mm-hmm. Nice to know. So, worth it lah, the purchase. Yeah, for me, yes, because like can sekarang is it is the age of the digital because both PlayStation and Xbox are now pushing for digital and stuff. I can the feeling and this this one like entire the digital PS5 and the Series S. <clears throat> I still stand firm that the Series S is the good the better purchase because. Because I, I before this uh, episode started, I asked them on our WhatsApp group that I haven't seen anyone except one of our friends, the cat uh, Aman, uh, Aman. The they are the only one I think in the media that buys the digital edition. The rest of them are gonna the CD one for well, for obvious reasons. Uh, you guys guys can play, you know, our current library of games. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tapi, uh, let's say, like, if you want to go digital and you de- don't care about the games that much, well, why not just, you know, take the plunge lah. When the, when the stock is there, beli lah Series S. It is better value and I think, like, if you buy it with the Game Pass Ultimate and all, perfect. It is the quintessential, like, next-gen punya system ready lah for you oh yeah also there is also uh, they have their uh, Microsoft have their own own like Netflix punya apa, clone now but they are a Netflix clone all of it are just cheesy B movies oh. like oh uh, yeah like there's one like 
the friend from outer space which is about which is uh, uh it's a napoleon dull which um that which that eddie movie character dolomite when you see that it's just bad shit insane oh. and also the do- yeah, yeah the dolomite when you see that the black exploitation the movie so good as uh, yeah, they call it. I think they call it two B. So if you want to have some bad, ever if you want to have an entertainment system that has just bad, uh, bad when you bad movies, Xbox are there. Who knew? Ta? Who knew? Uh, but yeah, Xbox with your television, television, television with your top back in twenty thirteen finally comes true in the year twenty twenty when you they open up a streaming service that just streams bad movie. So, on to that. Anna, you played another game that is not cyberpunk. Yep. <laughs> but it's also a punk. Another punk. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that, man. It is either cyber or frost. Cyber or frost? It is frost punk. Eh. So, probably one of the best games I've ever played. Oh, it's there on Game Pass as well. I should try that. The console. Yeah, you should try. Ooh. Uh, no, they have consoles? Yeah, they, uh-huh. I think they're more launch. Yeah, console version because I saw that on Game Pass. The, oh, nice. The first punk console edition. I, uh. Yeah. I believe everyone should play this. Uh, should try this. This is a oh. very good game. Like, underrated. Criminally underrated. So, all of us also played another punk game. <laughs> This mm. for I haven't... this episode, I mean, <laughs> we've we, I've played it before. We've discussed it like back on launch in last two years, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So uh, what do you think about okay. it? Okay. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, one of the genres that I want to play that I don't want to get good and want to play is city building, but. My problem is I don't have the like the creativity and the patience for city building. So things like city skyline, uh, team city. I, I sort of want to play, but I don't want to build stuff to like to to the level of detail that let's say YouTubers and all the like more more better gamers do. So, Frostpunk for me just hit the right spot, uh, because. It limits your, let's say the, the the built creativity within a circular framework, so to say. So you have some freedom to put your your buildings, your infrastructure, but it's not too free. That and which is for me like an advantage, because I don't have to think too much. So I'm like, okay, just put within radius and stuff. Done. Like housing this sector, factory this sector. And then uh, manufacturing, whatever, research, this sector. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just the right spot of uh, imitation and freedom. At least for the build side for me. Uh, what does, were you at? <laughs> uh, that, does the story aspect also help you getting into uh, city builders? Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, the, the fact that it has a, a good campaign uh, certainly helps. Like getting used to the mechanics and stuff instead of something like city skyline which is pretty much like a build whatever you want mm-hmm. i'm like eh, do anything too free. Do whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah it, sometimes being too free is limiting yeah i don't know it's a paradox <laughs> oxygen <laughs> run probably the real paradox. yeah a, a limiting freedom in a sense that it's too free that you don't know what to do yeah i've watched dogs about it <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like Legion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah have, so... have you employed Charlie? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. no freelance man. Right. <laughs> yeah, everyone should work. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't break the promise of safe work. I just gave them some safe work. Hot house. Uh, what else? Uh, cook house. Nothing to the minds and stuff. No, oh, I, I, I'm con- contemplating to do the child shelter, but uh, it's not efficient like for my calculation. I'm like, yeah, everyone, everyone should just uh, 
or maybe or maybe something like this i i save pick a choice get achievement go back to the same <laughs> <laughs> i just do that instead <laughs> i just want to do the achievement that's all okay yeah yeah it's my fun. first playthrough pretty good yeah Okay, mm. yeah, uh, I have something interesting during my first play through the new home scenario. Okay, so the the win condition for that scenario is that you must survive uh, the final storm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so for the in-game hours, just a few hours before the end, okay, I misclick triage button on the infirmary. <laughs> so basically, like, oh, like, a lot of people die so instant Ooh. healing but a lot of people die so just lost hope just a tiny sliver there i almost failed <laughs> my god now like, eh, okay you finish the game yeah you complete the scenario i'm like oh man <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just for mistake yeah i the, almost lost all hope <laughs> the end is kind of tense because it's yeah, basically very tense. Just, you are just trapping on whatever's left and basically don't do anything. So hopefully, yeah, you don't do anything. Don't survive. And, and pretty much, yeah, everyone, no one goes to work except the infirmaries. Uh-huh. So automaton of all the, all the industries, everything stock up. So just just hung, hunker down. No, same with that. Yep. Do you become a religious My mis- alert or? The other one. I go for order. Ah, order. the communist. <laughs> is it the communist? Yeah, the communist. Is it? Oof. No, no, no. It's more authoritarian. Ah, okay. <laughs> they don't go. They don't go whether Nazi or communist or they say authoritarian. Yeah. Uh, I guess the either faith or authority. Dictator. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's pretty hard la, on even on normal difficulty. I mean, for first timers like me. Yeah. Uh, it's not even, like especially the scenario. It's not even. Really? Uh, it's not even hard for newcomer. It's hard for city builders in general. <laughs> it's oh, quite yeah. the challenge. It's quite the challenge. So you've passed yeah. that that that, that hoop there. Yeah, quite the challenge. Uh, the arts scenario. That one, yeah. Uh, I mean, you have a dilemma. Okay, maybe a bit spoiler. Uh, for those who haven't played, uh, you have to save uh, another settlement, another city. That also just like fall off again. No, no. <laughs> so uh, you have a choice whether to send supplies or not. So this decision is determined by your initial, let's say your your preparation from the beginning. Lah, because I sort of messed up in terms of optimization of my resource collection from the beginning. So I don't have the luxury to send supplies to the other city, so I'm just okay. Bye bye. We're all on oh. our own. <laughs> Sorry, mate. So they are not safe. As long as I finish my objective, should be fine. <laughs> And with that, I barely finish the arcs. Sacrifice for the good. Barely survive. <laughs> yeah, for the greater good. So man, you're not getting my six thousand calls. No, mate. <laughs> Also, my precious automaton. I'm thinking of getting the expansions, but yeah, probably only one worth buying. Yeah, I haven't touched those expansions, so I have no idea how okay is it. So yeah, but overall, the base okay. game is strong. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's a strong game. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. There's no mods. I'm like, ah, this thing needs mods. <laughs> also, co- uh, less uh, despair. They have controller. They have console release already. Is it? Because I yes. want controller support. Oh, yeah, controller support, mod support. I know it doesn't say so on the Steam support. page. Yeah, I think just console only. Right? Yeah, you have to check that. But so is it still holds on? After all these years, the game name. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, like, can Mac last play this in our first season of Dialogue Lock, which was twenty eighteen? Does it still hold on? Is it still you know the dread machine that is 
life is. <laughs> I mean, depends on depends on the player lah. But for me, I still enjoy it. Really playing already clock like twenty plus hours or so. Oh. But yeah. Uh, I mean, the the eleven bit studios are like pretty small, right? So and also their code base is not yeah. mod friendly, I guess. So it's not moddable. I mean, eh, you need mod, some scenarios. Okay, Steam Workshop. Someone make scenario something. Eh. Oh. But it's fine, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh no wonder I'm... the the last time we talk about Frostpunk, it was a it was a despairing episode because Anans was not here. <laughs> the despair is so the, <laughs> the 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 second mention of Frostpunk, we are also one man down. <laughs> 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 Whoa, things haven't changed, I guess, in the world of Frostpunk. <laughs> Pretty much, everything's frozen. Yeah. All hope lost. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if any of you, the audience, wants to try your, to want, once you dip your hand in city building, uh, city, city building, city management, without the total freedom, and then if you want some stories, and then some challenge, yeah, Frostpunk is a, it's a very good game. It deserves the all the high praises from the, all the awards. If only they had more support, man. Ah, uh, this thing is customization. Like so good. It's a very good platform. <laughs> it is a Euro tank. Very good platform. So scared. <laughs> yeah, it's a Euro tank. It's a Chinese Euro tank. My God. <laughs> Hold on. Eleven B is also in Poland, isn't it? Yeah, it's under Cine Project. <laughs> Yeah, it is under a subsidiary of CD Project, not CD Project Red. It's just CD Project. CD Project SA. The company <laughs> CD Project. They are founded by CD Project members. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, they are in Warsaw. Oh yeah, Warsaw. It is also another Polish game that is also ending with punk. Mm, okay, yeah. Polish developer Eurojank. Kind of, kind of an, kind of paradox. Polish, not Polish mm-hmm. game. Unpolish. <laughs> Hello. Man. Okay. Jokes aside, the 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 Polish guys are really good game designer developer. So kudos to the citizens in a sense. You got some good, some good game development in there. Okay. Hopefully, you got more. Punk's not dead. It's only Cyber Frost. Yeah. Uh, should we go to the news? Oh, the to news. the news. And I think that's one one news that has taken over in the week is uh, like this small indie penny gathering made by some guy. Nothing like Kiwi Jeff. Yeah, never heard of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. never heard of him. Mm-hmm. Oof, oof, oof. So... Plenty of spice. <laughs> Next, we are not going to talk about the winners. Just that we're just going to talk about the game. Because we are still, technically this is still the summer game mess. <laughs> we next, never come. Let's, talk about, let's talk about a certain fuel person. Mm. <laughs> orang minyak, a certain orang minyak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh. It involves oils. Are you... Yes, the the cheapest oil actually. <laughs> the oil and gas industry never sleeps. No. Uh, How the hell did he even get there? <laughs> for two years in a row, Mister yeah, last year, Diesel himself. Last year was faster than so like yeah, it makes sense. This year, like suddenly, oh, he's the probably one of the bosses for the new art game. Why is he like, getting a the... sequel? He doesn't need a sequel. <laughs> yeah, he needs a sequel. 
I thought this game Jamie... is gonna live on, like yeah, like Minecraft. Why does it need a sequel? I I don't know. Even some of my like my uh, my friends they started playing Ark now. After years of release, they they started playing now. That good, like getting new players, still getting new players. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's weird, man. If if Mister Diesel's record continues, uh, I'm not excited about this game. <laughs> Looking at I mean, Fast and Furious. <laughs> it, it, this is a family. I think he's gonna yeah. get a family stick though <laughs> in the arc. Hey, turn it to him, man. This is the fourth game in fourth generation. Because Butcher uh, Chronicles already was in Xbox original. Wheelman exposed this thing. Was the biggest crossroads was for play for <laughs> nah, crossroads was for Xbox One and now the Series S and X. Had to he just wants to keep that rule remember that streak going. That's why Fast and Furious crossroads were rush. He wanted to reach that deadline before the end of the console cycle. Oh man. Take a wild guess. Uh, what will Mister Diesel's uh, appearance in a video game will be in next year's Game Awards? Mm. He's working on next year. I think that there uh, is one movie. I don't know a Marvel game. Mm. Another FMV game. <laughs> Uh, oh, Wired right. Man 2 featuring Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind. That I wouldn't mind playing. Just wanted to digitize it. <laughs> and... Oh boy. What else was announced? Yakuza Remastered. Yay. Oh, yeah. Yakuza Remastered. Oh, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. Ah, yeah. 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5, yeah. And 6. And, yeah, 6. Coming to PC, I hear you. Everyone will play all Yakuza. Yes, so zero to six, uh, zero to seven. So about seven the launch. Yeah, so zero to seven. Uh, but not on Game Pass, <laughs> but also not on Steam in Asia. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! So go to the, who, who's the publisher here? Is there a specific Sega. publisher? Sega. 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 Sega Asia. It's Sega, you can't wait. Sega, you can't wait. Release this. Release um, our boy into PC. For now, Sa- Yakuza Like a Dragon is a PS4 exclusive in Asia. And but not Persona Five Strikers. <laughs> Persona has broken the chain. Yeah, okay. because it's on PC. Mm-hmm. Persona Five Strikers is on PC. <laughs> Release our boy, Kasu. Kazuka, please. Ichiban. Please release our boy. Kasuga. Please release our, our Kasuga boy. He didn't, he didn't yeah. nothing wrong. <laughs> I like his name. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban number one. Oh, you would love all the puns they make. Mm. There's a lot of puns, including Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban. This <laughs> also works in English. Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> The the, the the localization team got got handed with that one. God damn. The uh, next up is that very long cheese game. Is this the game in Rangkata they want to do the the, the quadruple A game? Yep. The game that is before predicted. The the quadruple A game, which is uh new perfect duck. I mean, Nick Sumasala, that new Doom movie for using jo- uh, Joanna Darkman Namu. So she had to be risen from her grief. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, man. Uh, it's still a cinematic trailer, so I have no opinions about it. But I guess fans of the series will are excited about it. Is it under rare? Because I thought, oh no, this, this is the, the initiative. Uh, yeah. It used I to be rare. Like... 
and the team but, uh, so the lineage <laughs> was golden eye and then they make a new game the same team they make perfect dark and then that team uh spun off they've made free radical D- those guys need time splitters mm. and then they made a game for ubisoft and that didn't end well and poof dead no. <laughs> mm. that life shit. so remember back in the few seasons before the one one and me talk about you know how about they make a female james bond You know, everything James Bond, except just cut out. Don't cut off anything, just make it a, a girl James Bond. There, here's your pitch. Here's your pitch, initiative. Just make it like macam Skyrim or whatever. Skyrim or Skyfall or whatever. Take their plot. Just plop in, join that. Okay, dah. You're done. You're done for the day. Because I think the modern Bonds, Bond films are very good. Dalam in terms of the many, apa, storyline. It would have, it would fit quite well into a game player perspective, which actually a could make it quandary lah. But can I O I I O I I O interactive do the same thing? Hmm. You can make a long stretch of an argument that Hitman <laughs> games, the new Hitman, Hitman Two and Hitman Three are kind of James Bond games already. But you can throw wacky stuff on people. But you know, yes. we we'll, we we'll see. Yeah. Mm. That no. deserves its own argument. Mm. <laughs> Very so, long argument. I would just want to see that for whatever reason they've got the new James Bond to also be bald. Or at least you can have the iconic Agent Forty Seven skin to replace James Bond. <laughs> Just do a wacky stun, and then you unlock the for the forty seven skin. Ah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I I do like the the rise of espionage games. I guess the James Bond movement in from, video games from that yeah from that in twenty twelve to now three. It man the next James Bond game and perfect that great success. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, next, next we have. Oh no, that Howard has done it again. Uh, after he sold Bethesda, <laughs> after he sold Bethesda to Microsoft, he did his ultimate move. He's going to release Skyrim for Series X and S. God damn it, that at one more Skyrim. One more scary, man. Skyrim is a cockroach. It's everywhere. Skyrim everywhere system. <laughs> I'm surprised that like, everywhere. That I'm just surprised that he just stopped there. I thought that for Game Pass Android, so that you can play Skyrim on the go. Come on, Todd. Why? Where are we giving you the ideas, man? You can already play on your Alexa. Why not just play on the phone? Yeah, I mean, we can play GTA on phone now. Why not? Hmm. Why not Skyrim? Come on. Yeah, that does. I mean, I mean, just give the graphics fine. <laughs> just want to slay dragons. Yeah, Blades was terrible. Just give us the real thing. And next, we have another Xbox game. Microsoft flexing finally coming to Xbox. I thought it was out when when I bought, not gonna lie when I bought the Xbox game. I thought it was already out. Apparently, uh, yeah. it wasn't. Mm-mm. No, just for PC for now. Oh, it's coming out next year. So cannot wait. Um, And hmm. I guess last week we can talk about you know the the battle of the century, the evil evil battle of the century. Between one game named Evil West and the next game of Evil Dead. Okay. Evil Dead, eh? Uh, so Evil Dead as in that Evil Dead. Yes, the Ash. The Ash was it? What's the franchise anyway? I don't know. 
the uh, now it's just evil that yeah uh, it's just it's back to evil that jew mm. because of uh, uh what's it called netflix when you show and what's the other game evil evil west it is a cowboy name uh, yeah yeah let me check Yes, it is flying white hot. You know the guys I mean, painkiller. Next mm. game. Uh, I think the get the guys that made Shadow Warrior as well, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, painkiller and Shadow Warrior. So the combat is going to be very fast. Yes, vampire hunting cowboys. Yep, see, yep, basically evil that they should be. But we cowboys. But you can't voice. Mm, Evil Dead, bro, with cowboys. <laughs> no. Such easy. a boom yeah. thing to do. Oh, man. I mean, thanks to Red Dead, nah. they didn't release the zombie mode. So, they, and the developers have to in, in their hands. And you know what? There's more games about Undead and West. Uh, let me remind yes. check. There's West of Dead. Which is a thing, the, the, the game that is out now, I think it has like Ron Perlman or something. So that's a thing. And there's also Weird West, which is also Wild West, but weird. Like undead things come in. That's under development. So, oh boy, plenty of dead and evil and West. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> Of new video the unholy, games. the unholy Trinity. <laughs> we just rearrange the, the 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 three words, and you you get a new game. Yeah. yeah. Dead evil. Dead West. West. Oh, we already have that West of Dead. Uh... <laughs> Anymore? Announce I think the... I think... Oh yeah, the left... I forgot to put it on our docket, but... The not left for that new game. By the guys who made left for that. Who? Oh. Uh, left for Blood? That's, <laughs> that's the name? Let me check the Google machine. Back for Blood, yes, there is the new Cop Survival game by Turtle Rock Studios, the guys who made Ref for Dead. Oh, and they have somehow and evolved. Yeah. And they showed like one of the two voice char- voice characters is basically uh, Coach and Rochelle. So yeah, it's just Left for Dead. But new skin. Do not steal. Oh, oh they've announced the game name for quite a while but never shoot anything oh this is the proper reveal okay yep and it's no no it's just it's just left for that tapi iron side i hope like they have like a toggle or just just make it like not obvious or like l l for d mode ataupun ataupun original mode so that you cannot shoot <laughs> you cannot shoot real uh, iron sights Just like, things like made it very easy. Like, think of the gameplay with trailer that they came out. Like, it's too easy. Give me my, just crosshair, yeah. <laughs> The fact that they highlighted the four so much in one of the key art, I guess it continues the <laughs> Valve thing about not putting three on their game. <laughs> no. For whatever reason, like... they continue the tradition. Despite not having any ties anymore, I find that interesting. Nah, mate, we cannot put three, mate. <laughs> Lover, like back three, blood is not that good. Back four, ah, Maru Gucci. <laughs> Definitely the lesson from Driver Three. <laughs> yes, Driver Three, ah. Uh. <laughs> ah, cool. Uh, is that it for Game Awards announcements that we want to yep. talk about? 
Yeah, that's about it because there are uh, indie games, tapi the indie games are. Uh, <laughs> eh, ayat dia. Besides, uh, apa the Swedish Chef in Under uh, in Overcooked Two. Yeah, that's the only thing that I remember. You like the game was was just like a fever dream. I just, uh, but okay, here's a game. Uh, and it's another game. That's it then. We can wrap it up. Yes, we can. And uh, now, now that this is not a special episode, we can have thumbnails again. Ooh, the last Cyberpunk. thumbnail of the year. The last thumbnail of the year. Uh, make it good. Cyber. Cyberpunk. Which one? Eh? Magnum. Magnum dong. <laughs> just the word <laughs> Magnum. Just the word Magnum. Magnum Dong. Ah. Uh, or any, No, no, any... Magnum Dong. The Dong. The Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me check what kind of Magnum I can put. It could be the ice cream. It could be the gun. Yeah. Depends. The Magnum Lottery. <laughs> the Magnum Lottery. <laughs> um, oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, I guess, like, just put like a small little apple uh, Xbox Series S, make it as small as possible <laughs> because that's how I usually see it. Okay, hmm. what else? Punk's not dead. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know, like the cyberpunk meme, something <laughs> janky pol- punk, a Polish flag. The Polish, that pretty Polish, oh, like yeah, Polish punk, the word punk as well. Ah, yep. <laughs> uh, mm. I'll play around with the yellow background and the blue. Ah, yes, the yellow, yellow background. Background for frost punk, I guess. Because again, punk's punk's not dead, and the Polish shall uh bring it up of all yeah. people. In video games, at least. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I guess. Uh, we. Can... I, I think. Yeah. I, I think and. I... Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What? <laughs> did, did did I cut you off? Did uh. You okay. Train of thought. No. And I. Yeah. I train. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it back. I think. Uh. The reason they sort of like this kind of uh dystopian games. Is their history with invasion and all the bad stuff that happens to Poland, Dang. the Nazis and then the Soviet, mm. everything. So they're like, eh, let let's do this shit. <laughs> I o- let's try try a different shit. Yeah, yeah, understandable. But let's not thank that person for it. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> let's not go there. Uh, how about we promote the social our social links, uh, Daniel? Yeah, you can follow me on twitter.com slash flaky f-l-4-k-y oh, where you can see me trying to making shenanigans on you know, you know cyberpunk uh, for Zach, uh, because I'm in that pool already. <laughs> okay. Anna? Yeah, Twitter from near dr 4 up and one r dr 4 up and one r so, uh, Today's been pretty slow episode. I guess everyone's kind of tired. <laughs> so, yeah, Matt? Uh, and I have been Amirul Macronos Ashraf, M-E-C-K-R-O-N-O-S. Uh, who's going to review Cyberpunk again? Uh, we'll discuss it later, but probably... We will roll. We roll at those twenty dice thing. What's up with that? Ah, I believe I want to back down. <laughs> uh, after like, I don't know what did I review before Yakuza. But Watch there was dogs? like another cyberpunk game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I have two open. I had played two open world games back to back. So I would like to take my time with cyberpunk for now. So you guys have to be the, the open world fatigue. Yeah, I, more like I I just need to play something else also, in between the cyberpunk. Maybe the fatigue is kicking in. I don't know, or maybe this just me not feeling well. Depends. 
Probably both. Tengok mana tahu. Bit of Columbia. Yeah. Bit of Columbia. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe we can do like a core review something. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, I will discuss it. But, uh, What? Research. Our first video review? Okay. <laughs> uh, core, not video. Not yet. <laughs> I don't want to capture a terabyte of cyberpunk gameplay. And I keep forget. I want to take screenshot. I forgot. I, I didn't put the sensor. Oh every, yeah, uh, oops, oops. the poopy sensor. Uh, yeah, every time I'm thinking, oh, this is a good screenshot. I should pick up, uh, take if we want to put it on. A... No, no, no. Or maybe just angle got, it a bit away. Got boba. Mm-hmm. Boba key. <laughs> uh, depends. Cyberpunk review is coming soon. Uh, Daniel has alluded to an Xbox Series S review that's coming soon. And yep. as always, as per tradition, the Gamer Malaya and Gamer Matters Game of the Year Awards 2020 and will return in 2020. Yeah, that's the sentence. So, as, expect <laughs> tons of content uh, at the end of the year. Again, the sparse uh, release of the adult log will stop there. And hopefully, a new refresh in 2021 or maybe 2020 season 2. Hopefully, it's not the later. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there you go. That's Dia.Lock, the Game of Matters podcast. And... Uh, CD Projekt Red, please give us Magnum Dong. CD Projekt Red, why do you hang us up on the phone? <laughs>